Snow Tracks Television, North America's number one snowmobile lifestyle program, seen across Canada on the Sports Network and across the United States on Speed Vision. With features like the new product showcase, destination segments, technical tips, and more, Snow Tracks Television keeps you on top of what's new, what's hot, and what's happening with recreational snowmobiling. Then there's this guy. Like that annoying relative you wish would just stay home, here comes that one masked man snowmobiling disaster, Sled Ed. Ed is so enthusiastic about the sport, he always gets in way over his head, forgetting the basic rules of snowmobile safety. It means one sled and catastrophe after another for our battered buddy, but by watching what goes wrong for Ed, we learn the right way and the safe way to handle our machines. So get ready to dial 911 from Snow Tracks Television. Here comes Sled Ed's greatest hits. in there? Oh, well, here he is, and he survived the summer just fine, hasn't he? It's our old slumbering sidekick, Sled Ed. Ed figures it's a couple of weeks yet before the snow starts to fly, so hey, Ed, wouldn't it be a good time to get old Christine on that trailer and down to the repair bay to make sure she's ship -shaped for the season ahead? <laughs> like your trailer, Ed, just enough rust to keep it honest. Oh, no, no, get a load of this! Eddie, isn't it a good idea to load her up gently? I mean, you wouldn't want to break something here now, would you? Now, do you know what you're doing, Bob? I mean, do you know what those levers do? Bombs away! Yikes! Well, if Chris wasn't broken, she certainly is now. Okay, let's hook it up. Remember what I told you slowly and easy does it, Ed, but let's hook her up. Nice and secure, and hey, don't forget to cross those safety chains like we told you, remember? Get that latch down. We wouldn't want her coming detached halfway there now, would we? Uh-oh, I think I'd mail more insurance to Ed right about now if I were you. So, off we go and down to the repair shop. Uh, I don't like the looks of this at all. Uh, Ed, I don't know how to tell you this, but I got a funny feeling in a couple of seconds here, your trader isn't trailing anymore. And the guy coming up beside you is getting awful close. That trailer looks just like yours. Ed, well, we better ditch this whole thing. I don't think the constable's buying your story, Ed, and quite frankly, we aren't either. Early morning ride for our buddy, Ed. So where is your best girl, Christine? Oh, here she is. Oh, what's happened to her, Ed? She looks terrible. Covered in snow inside and out. <laughs> I don't think she's going to start today. Idea? Oh, that scares me. So, a toboggan and a boat anchor. Oh, you're not going to hitch a ride with this setup, are you, Ed? You are going to hitch a ride with this setup the hard way. Any guesses as to what happens next? Right, collect your five dollars. Come on, Ed, will you stop this? The sled operator has to know what he's towing, or it means you get hooked into a whole mess of painful trouble. Uh, no matter how hard you try, Eddie, old boy, you're never going to cover up just how dumb you really are. Well, here's our unsuspecting victim now. With no idea, Ed has tied him to a ton of torturous trouble. All right, as if this GT racer makes it any safer. <laughs> I think GT stands for Greater Terror. Up to about 30 miles an hour now, Ed, on a toy. Kind of goes with your toy-sized brain. Well, I figure Frostblade kicks in in about 30 seconds. You're at the mercy of wherever he takes you, Ed, and look what's up ahead. Buried farm equipment. Yeah, nice and soft, like your head. Hey, what's going on? I thought we only ordered one turkey for Thanksgiving dinner. I like my bird with stuffing and cranberry, to tell you the truth. Okay, Ed, so what's the big deal today? Oh, I see. Get old Christine brushed off and ready to fire. Good idea. You know, Ed, a thorough check of your machine, including under the hood, is not only a good idea, it's mandatory for safety's sake, but do try and be a little more gentle, will you please? Oh, a track check, you stud you! Uh, 
Okay, and the critical drive belt, proper tension and all of that. Well, I guess it's okay. But what's with this exhaust, Ed? The hole in the pipe matches the one on your head. Well, this looks, uh, uh, uh-oh. I don't know, Ed. I don't know if there's a whole lot left of this machine to make it safe. What's this? What's this? The throttle return spring? It's unhooked. If you try and start her like that, well, we don't even want to talk about it. You see, the throttle is hung wide open. Will you listen to me for once in your life, Edward? Okay, have it your way. One pull, and there Christine is off on her own, and she's left you behind again. See ya, Christine. Well, Ed, I tried to warn you, and now the old girl is running amok. Am I the only one who's embarrassed here? Ed, you're gonna run out of gas before she does. Hey, what's this? Ooh, call it a snowbound showdown. Angry woman sled and dolt driver. Uh-oh, any odds on how this one is gonna go? Come on, Chris. Give this guy what he deserves. A swift boot and a, well, you know. Extra point is good. Score at halftime in the Turkey Bowl. Christine 14, Ed, nothing. focus, Ed is out on his own again. Ever notice how many times Ed gets into serious trouble when he rides solo? It's always a good idea to ride with a buddy. Oh, this is unfamiliar territory, isn't it, Ed? Riding your silver bullet. Not exactly sure where you're gonna go, and that's always an invitation to big trouble. Let's see. Now, you have to guess here, do you, Ed? Down there, you think, huh? Okay, cross your fingers, we'll give it a try. Uh-oh, I think we goofed. Straight to the bottom of the gravel pit we didn't know was here because we weren't familiar with the area, right, Ed? Oh, somebody get a stretcher. How romantic! A good morning kiss for Christine Cold Metal. You're stuck, aren't you? Got any hot water on you? Oh, that smarts. That's keeping a stiff upper lip. And we're finally underway. Hey, Ed, look, look at this. Oh, no! There's been a crash and somebody's hurt! Check it out, Ed. You can come out of this thing a hero. Just, uh, don't stop there! Oh. Now listen, Ed, my friend, I know you mean well, but be careful. Hey, who's in there? Look, look, Ed, he's trying to tell you not to try and move him. Could be a neck or a, a back injury. If you try and move him, you could inflict a lot more damage. Go get some help and put him down, Ed. Lovely, you've dropped him. You're not going to listen this time either, are you? What's this, a tag team match? Go for the pin, Ed. Listen, don't try this on your own. Leave transport of the injured to the professionals. Oh, no. 
Now see, look, he's fallen off again. Now the other leg is broken. Give it a rest. Ed, would you go and get some help? I'm gonna hang you with that rope. I hope you're happy, because our injured friend's gone from overnight observation to intensive care. Being a great big kid himself, Ed's found some young friends to go riding with today. Hey, Ed, good to see ya. There's high fives all around and lots of male bonding. Oh, that's it, my friend. Check everything before you ride. A fine example you're setting, Ed. Time for everybody to fire up and take off, and you can ride along too this time, Ed. Riding in a group is the way to go, and certainly a lot more fun. You never ride alone. Uh-oh, so what's the trouble now? Oh, don't tell me. I know Ed wants to take a shortcut off the trail. I don't, I don't care, Ed. I don't care if you're in a hurry. Stay on the trail and stay with the group. I don't blame you at all, guys. I don't. When Ed gets an idea in his head, good or bad, and mostly bad, there's just no stopping him. So here you go, off by yourself and off your rocker. Oh, this is good. This is good. Danger blasting area. Too bad we can't blast some common sense into that thick skull of yours, Ed. Told you time and time again, don't stray off the trails. And the hard hat's trying to warn you, Ed. This is no place for snowmobiling. Forget the map. You parked it in an excavation area. And oh, no. Hold your ears. Who's that? What's that? I don't know where his helmet is, but he's missing any limbs? Oh no, no. He's uh, lost his boots, but uh, otherwise he seems to uh, be all right. Ed and Christine are going to take it easy today, and their ride will take them across frozen Lake Sissy Manunu. So what are you going to do, Ed? Easy does it and test the ice yourself? Uh, I don't know about this. Nice dance, Ed. Kind of like a cross between the funky chicken and the Macarena. Listen, don't knock yourself out, Ed. Just stay on the marked trail. Crossing on any piece of ice will be a piece of cake. Glad we got your stamp of approval, huh? Good as that is, let's get going, because time's a wasted. That's it, stay with the markers, but don't knock them over. How's the next rider along supposed to find them if you knock them down? Give those trail volunteers a break here, will ya? You know what, Ed? I think it takes a whole lot of skill to wander off the trail time and time again. And with ice underneath. And very cold water. Two years in a row, Ed? How consistent you are, dummy overboard. Come on, Ed, stay in. The water's fine. Two, three. Oh, Eddie, you killed yourself. Oh, now this is good to see. Ed usually gets clobbered every time he leaves the trail. 
But not only do we think he's learned to stay on the trail this time, Ed has even become a volunteer to help keep the trails open, groomed, and clear of debris. Excellent work, Ed, old boy. Uh, we all have to do our part now, don't we? Wait a minute now, Ed. I don't think we need these uh, big trees taken down, do we? You better think about this. But I got this awful feeling this is going to make the Texas Chainsaw Massacre look like a Barney episode. No, no, come on. No, not that one. Not any of them. Get out of there before you hurt yourself. Oh, no. Tim! Oh, perfect, Ed. You just missed your best girl, Christine, by that much. Yeah, that was close. So now, what's this? Well, we like the way you've tried to clean up your branches, but this is not the way we tow something behind a sled now, Ed. You know better than this. Uh, then again, probably not. So where's the tow bar, Eddie? And this big sleigh makes you severely overloaded. <laughs> you slay me, Ed. Okay, so you want to impress the crew with your misguided effort? I'd look behind you if I were you, because Christine went that away. You know, Ed, you're lucky there's still something left of Christine to take home. With whatever bits of Christine he did salvage, our safety sidekick, Ed, is on the lookout for something relatively intact to ride. Ed, look at this. Trade sled for work. Hey, right up your alley, my boy. There it is. The latest model for Ed, at least, and just begging for a spin on the trail. She was made for you, Eddie. And as you know, he'll ride just about anything, so this deal is pretty much done. But there's the hard part, Ed, the work. And it looks like clearing away snow is the order of the day. But I want to test drive it, he says. Be careful, Ed. It's only a test drive. Take it easy. I like your idea of gentle. Well, here's mistake one. Ed, get off the road and onto the trails before something horrible happens. Far too dangerous, and in most cases, sledding on roads and streets is illegal. Oh, now he's just showing off. And his head's about to come off. Nice hood ornament, Eddie. You might be okay, but would somebody answer that ringing phone? Oh, now look at this machine. It was only supposed to be a test drive. Well, you broke it. It's yours. So get to work, clear the snow until you earn enough to replace this sled. Time to pay up, and it looks like way up to me. Get the heavy snow off the roof in pronto. Oh, hey, hey, careful there, Ed. Gravity never fails. Kind of slippery up here, Ed. Be careful. Don't look down! You do know how to shovel it, don't you, Edward? Be careful. It's a long way down. You know what? Mount Everest was a lot less hassle than this. Hey, come on, no goofing off. You're, you're gone! And straight down! Nice stunt, Ed, just like those old Western movies, only they knew what they were doing and how to land pain-free. You a little groggy there, Ed? Are you okay? Hey, where the heck do you think you're going? Get back to work, you slacker. You've got a busted sled to pay for. Well, now the chase is on, and here we go back on the road again involving cars that hurt real bad when they hit you. I don't like the way this is developing at all. Now, Ed is good enough now to show us what excessive speed looks like. Slow down, buddy. He's so bent on getting away, he's not paying attention. Seems to me there's a stop sign up here someplace. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Both lines of travel are about to intersect. Oh. Ed, buddy, oh, pal. Speak to me. Well, we tried to warn you, Ed. Disobey the basic rule to stay off the streets and roads, and the results can be downright nasty. Well, it looks like the work for sled guy is not about to give up because the chase will now resume on foot. Hey, Ed, I bet those socks give you lots of traction in the snow.
<laughs> okay, and up and at him. Bright-eyed, well, blurry-eyed, and bushy-tailed, and Christine is ready for another day on the trail. Brush her off, bounce her away, Jenny, that's it. She's kind of a deep sleeper. And well, Christine's never been together till she's had her morning coffee. Listen, what's with this scarf thing, Ed? Fashion statement from some washed-up rock musician? Not only does it look silly, Ed, it is dangerous to wear dangling, loose-fitting clothing while riding or working machinery. Come on, try it again. Say a little prayer. Once more, there you go. Purrs like a kitten. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Listen to that motor, Ed. How about the... Oh, ooh, ooh. Snarf by the scarf. The kill switch, Ed. The kill... Oh. Came close to killing you. Listen, will you take that dumb scarf for a walk in the woods and lose it? It almost ripped your head off. Okay, so why should you start listening to me now? Oh, now get a load of this. Looks like a live snake around his neck. Uh, Ed, Ed, overhanging branch dead ahead, Ed. Do you see it up there? Overhanging branch. Well, he's hooked now, full reverse engines, and he's going backwards whether he wants to or not. <laughs> I told you that scarf would tie you up. Uh, Ed can't talk now. Uh, he's fit to be tied. Oh, now this has got to be some kind of record. Mere seconds into the ride, and Ed's off the trails already. What a short memory you have. Come on, Eddie, out here. How do you know there aren't obstacles and obstructions covered up by the snow? Not to mention thin spots and pressure cracks in the ice run into these things and it's a whole new set of bruises or even worse. Meet. Watch up, dog. Oh, my head. Get off this lake and right now, will you please? Uh oh, too late. Time for lunch. Ice fishing hut. Only one out here. Only thing out here. Oh, Ed, you make me tired. Bet you he can run into this. And here's a guy out to snag a couple of pickerel, minding his own business, and Ed's about to turn this hut into a frozen perch drive through One second to impact. Flying fish and chairs. Hmm, you want fries with that? The sun's gone down behind these clouds, Ed, and it's starting to come down heavy. Just me, or is it getting kind of tough to see out here? So, huh, yeah, when has bad weather ever stopped you, right, Ed? You're a, you're a man, you're rugged. Come on, admit it. You really can't see where you're going out here, can you? And look, Christine's coming apart over all this low visibility stuff. Uh, no, 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 don't bother with the light. It hasn't worked for about 10 years. Oh, I like this. Mr. Accident and Open Flame and the Gas Tank Eddie. I hope you're wearing asbestos underwear. So what do you call this thing, Ed? The Xena Warrior Princess Home Lighting Kit? And am I the only one worried about the mixture of Ed, gasoline, and fire? You really can't see where you're going. And you definitely can't see this cliff. Now look at the bright side. At least you put out the fire. Oh, hang on a second. Maybe he didn't. Remember, Ed, it's two-way traffic on these trails, so stay on your side, will ya? The right side.
Hey, you know who this is? Ed's half-brother, Sled Earl. Haven't seen him since last year's family picnic when he was kidnapped by squirrels. Hey, can you tell Ed and Earl are related? Look at this technique. <laughs> Reckless and ridiculous. They don't know it yet, but Ed and Earl are on the same trail, one going east, one going west, and they're all over the place. X marks the spot for Dumb and Dumber. getting into trouble on his sled. Well, the lake is frozen, obviously, and Ed's brain is in permafrost. This early season ice business is dangerous business. Unless a marked trail crosses it, you've got no idea how thick or how safe the ice really is. Come on, Ed, the weather hasn't been cold enough. I'm telling you to get to dry land before we have to fish you out of the drink. Oh, not a lot of control out here, Ed. That looks kind of slushy as well. Holes. You're asking for it, buddy. You had to stop in a hurry. No dice, no chance. I can absolutely, positively guarantee that these poles aren't going to give if you should happen to hit one. Let me rephrase that. When you hit one. Hope you like the food, Ed, because at this rate you're going to drill all the way to China. Full of renewed confidence, Ed is leading the ride this time and so far is behaving himself. Let's see how it lasts. Oh, it's kind of slow, Ed, but it's a nice, even pace for everybody. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, not, not one of your patented shortcuts. They always turn out to be more long than short. Forget the time. No, no, no. Get real, Ed. Look, the crew's not having any part of your nutso navigation. There's trains down there, Ed, and no way anybody wants to mess with a train. Ah, oh, here he is. Sled Cannonball Ed. Playing on these tracks has to be one of the dumbest things you've ever done, my friend. What happens if a train comes along? It takes miles for these rolling giants to stop. I know you don't see any trains, so what are you, you going to what? listen to the rail to see if you hear a train coming? <laughs> Think you've jumped your trolley for good this time, Ed. You're way off track, Ed, and I mean it. There she is! Polar Bear Express, right on schedule. And the crunching sound that you heard behind you is Christine heading east. You've heard of cow catchers? Just too bad trains don't come with idiot catchers. Well, I'll say this. Christine makes a nice bumper for the train, don't you think? All aboard! Save us a seat in the club car, Ed. A farmer in the dell, or a dummy in the yard. So did Farmer Chris give you permission to run amok on Christine on this property? I said, did Farmer... Oh, never mind. I think we already know the answer. Not a horse of a different color. Just our empty-headed pal Sled Ed doing the lower 40 the hard way. Yeah, I was afraid of this. Heavy-duty equipment and a snowblower big enough to eat anything. Or Ed's, in this case. Oh, come on, Ed, get serious. You never ride anywhere close to heavy machinery, anytime, anywhere. Listen, Farmer Chris has got mules in his barn smarter than you. Oh, crap, it's the manure spreader. Oh, fresh and steamy, uh, with an odor to stagger you. And here comes our hero, like that swarm of flies you can't reach with any swatter. Listen, Ed, this foolishness has to stop and stop right now. This is a bad place to do your showboating. Well, you kind of knew this saga was going to have a pungent ending now, didn't you?
Well, here's our high-tech terror sled head. Huh. Nice mini dish head in home theater. Now I know what happened to all the tin foil in camp. Let's see if we can get some wrestling on this thing, will ya? Oh, snow cross racing. Very hot, very entertaining, Ed. Nothing like a good run of snow cross, right, chip face? Oh, you like these guys? These are pros, Ed. Look at the air they catch over these whoops. It takes top-notch equipment and riders who know what they're doing. It takes years of riding and training to get this good, Ed. No, no, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Monkey see, monkey do. You're not thinking of copying these snow crossers, are you, Ed? Of course you are. Oh, those guys are pros, remember? Competing on a closed course for safety. Remember that word, safety, Ed? This kind of stunting on the trails is just plenty dangerous, Ed, and nothing more. Come on, Ed, you can't ask Christine to do this kind of stuff. I guess we just chalk this up to more of Ed's infamous selective hearing. This is just plain reckless riding, Ed. Pure pain and simple. He's up, he's down, and he's dumb. Somebody give him a shake, because I'm through trying to talk to this guy. <laughs> Tell him if he wants to copy something on TV, try Wheel of Fortune, because it's bad fortune around this bend. You know it was gonna kinda end like this, didn't ya? Christine into the trees and Ed with new bruises? Rocky Mountain High. Hi, Ed. Our hero's up here for some sledding at higher elevations. I see you've lost your clumsiness. Oh, you're right, Eddie. Right again. The scenery up here is amazing. Takes your breath away. It's beautiful up here. You've just got to get a picture of this. Instamatic of only in Ed's imagination. But it is gorgeous out here, Ed. What a picture. Trouble is, Ed is so busy gawking at the view, he's not really paying attention to where he's going. And decision time, Ed. Groom trail or no trail? What's it gonna be? Uh, no, I don't know, Ed. I don't think so. You know what, though? What goes up must come down and hard, too. I've seen otters slide down like this, but never humans. But then again, who said Ed was human? Come on, Edward. You're okay. Be a man. Nasty fall, nothing. Oh. <laughs> Then again, the fancy footwork might mean a long walk home. Oh, I love your wheels, Ed. I saw a monster truck eat one of these as an hors d'oeuvre last week. Well, at least the door didn't fall off in your hand this time. Just a second, just a second. You mean to tell me this thing actually runs? A miracle! Yeah, it does run! You can tell by the smoke and the funny noise it's making. Well, you'll need that trailer today, Ed, so back her in. That's it, nice and slow. Connecting a snowmobile trailer has to be done carefully. Oh, nice. I suppose you're going to try and tell me that's that new tearaway bumper Detroit came out with last year. Well, I'll say this for you, Ed. At least this time you remember to cross the safety chains. Disaster 4006, coming up. No, no, Ed, no. When I mentioned log on, I was talking about computers, not your trailer. Wise up, will you? Come on, that's not near steady enough. Never mind your silly thumbs up. Hey, who's this uh, good-looking brunette sled, Ed? 
and a good looking. And where you going in such a hurry? Remember what we said? Line up the trailer, but take it nice and slow. Slowly, Edward. Oh, boy. Hey, don't give me another one of these I've got another concussion blank stare. See what happens when you mess around in your best girl? like any normal rider. They like the speed and exhilaration of the wind against their helmet as the trail goes whizzing by safely, of course. All you have to remember is to keep your speed reasonable. You can feel when you're going too fast for the steering to work efficiently. And here, of course, Ed is showing us the wrong way to handle velocity. And out in the open, he's met up here with some other riders. Hey, Ed, try and stay out of the way, will you? Hey, these guys are fast. But don't ever let them pressure you to go faster than you really are comfortable with. Here comes some more of them, Ed. Oh, they're leaving you behind, buddy, but that's okay. Never let the other riders force you to ride beyond your limit. Hey, where you going, Ed? Don't tell me another bright idea. Oh, snail mail? Hey, what you ordering there, Ed? Acme High Speed Products. Hmm. You been watching Roadrunner cartoons again, Ed? Now stick it in there. Ought to get here in about, oh, 90 days or so, I guess. Oh, well, how's that for speedy delivery? These Acme guys are ace. Uh-oh. That's the Acme CFM 4 B nitro-induced rocket booster. About 4 million pounds of thrust each. Wait, uh, you gonna attach these to your sled for more power? You can't be serious, Ed. Oh, yeah. He's serious, right down to the 2,000 mile an hour duct tape. Perfect. Test run. Oh, no. And here come those smart alecky speedsters again, Ed. I can't look. Ignition sequence start. Mach 5, 6, 7, 8. You got him beat now, Ed! Orbiter vehicle. Good for throttle up. Hey, Ed. Nice vapor trail. So choked up about the landing, though. Face it, Eddie, you've got all the wrong stuff. Great wreck, baby! Great wreck! Whoa! Unless I miss my guess, and it's a pretty good guess, that's Ed and Christine, his sled. You can tell by the nifty lettering. Get her all fired up there, buddy! Yeah, you killed her! Try it again. There you go. 
So where are you off to today, Ed? Well, I see you've learned to calm down a lot. Oh, look at this beast. King-size snowblower. They don't get much bigger than this. Ed, I don't think this street with heavy equipment about is any place for you to start showing off again. Get it under control, buddy. And a front-end loader has joined the party to double the danger. Watch out, Ed. You're flying behind there like that. The loader operator can't even see you. Wow, it was close. Oh, you are playing with fire here, Ed. Cut it out before you're squashed like a bug. See that sign, Ed? Stay back 50 feet. In your case, 5,000 might be more like it. Stand by to cue the goof. There he is, and you just know what's gonna happen next, right? Right, you must be psychic. Ed is chewed up and spit out, kind of like a man-sized food processor, or in this case, idiot processor. There he is. Pureed Ed, good for the digestion. Well, nothing's really changed, has it? Christine usually gets the worst of it, and you, Ed, my boy, help drive the cost of health care clean out of sight. Look. Do me a favor. If you see Ed coming, throw him a box of bandages and ride off in the opposite direction. Well, Ed's heading out of here for now. But be careful. You never know where he's going to pop up next.